Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting algebra question from Korean Math Olympiad, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. For a positive integer n, let's say a of n is the value calculated by adding all the solutions of the equation summation case from one to n, absolute value of x minus k is equal to x minus n plus one over two square plus n minus one. What's the value of 2 times a1 plus a2 plus all the way up to a20? So looking at this, for the convenience, let me just call this left-hand side as L of x, right? So let me just call this as L of x. And the right-hand side as R of x. Then we can observe four things, right? So number one, uh, L and R. So L and R have x is equal to n plus 1 over 2 as axis of symmetry. Then the second one is for the graph of R of x and L of x, right? So for the R, this is the parabola. And L of x is also the problem, but this is the piecewise problem. And third, we can also say if x satisfies L of x is equal to R of x, then so does this n plus 1 minus x. Then the last one is about the midpoint, right? So the midpoint has to be n plus 1 over 2. Midpoint of n plus 1 over 2. Then we can easily think about this r of n plus 1 over 2. So r of n plus 1 over 2, this is only going to be n minus 1. Then let's think about L of n plus 1 over 2, right? So for n, L of n plus 1 over 2. So we can just draw the number line. And from 1, 2, all the way up to n minus 1 and n. Then n plus 1 over 2 should be in the middle. Then we can talk about two cases where n is an even number versus when n is an odd number, right? So case number 1, if n is an even number, then we can think about L of n plus 1 over 2 is just going to be then 2 times parenthesis n minus 1 uh, over 2. And then plus n minus 3 over 2, plus all the way up to 1 over 2. So making a calculation for this, this is only going to be then the same as, okay, let's make a parenthesis, n minus 1 plus n minus 3, plus all the way up to just a 1. And for this parenthesis, we have n over 2 terms. Okay, so that is why we can just calculate this as n over 2 times another n over 2, which is n squared over 4. So this is going to be the same as n over 2 times n over 2, which is n squared over 4. Okay, then let's think about case number 2 when n is an odd number. So case number 2, n is an odd number. Okay, then we should have 2 times still the same. n minus 1 over 2 plus n minus 3 over 2 plus all the way up to, but it has to be 2 over 2. So that is why this is going to be calculated as then 2 plus all the way up to n minus 1. And using the formula, this is just the same as n plus 1 times n minus 1 over 4 which is the same as n squared minus 1 
over 4. But since we're looking for the value of 2 times a1 plus a2 plus all the way up to a20, where an is the value calculated by adding all the solutions to this equation. So let's think about the graph of this L of x is equal to R of x to think about the roots. So we're talking about the graph starting from when n is equal to now 1. Since question said n is a positive integer. So when n is equal to 1, we should have three roots, right? 0, 1, and 2. And then the graph is looking just like this. And then this is now, okay, it's a 0, and this is 1, and we have 2. We should have graph looking just like this. Okay, so this is R of x, and this is L of x. This is R of x. So we should have now three roots, 0, and then 1, and 2. These are the three roots. So that is why we have A1 is going to be 0 plus 1 plus 2, which is 3. So a1 is equal to now 3. OK, then when n is equal to 2, OK, then graph is looking just like this. There has to be the parabola still. And this L of x is looking just like that. OK, so we have an intersection here. This is going to be then uh, 0 0.5. And now this point is equal to 1. This point is now 1.5. And this point is now 2. This intersection has to be the x value is now 2.5. OK, so this is L of x, and this is R of x. So it looks like the roots are 0 0.5, and then we have 1.5. Then we have 2.5. So that is why now this A2. A2 is going to be the same as 0 0.5 plus 1.5 plus 2.5, which is 4.5 then. So A2 is now 4.5. And using the same logic, A3 is now we have total of five roots, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So if you add them up, A3 has to be just the same as now 10. So A3 is equal to 10. And when n is greater than or equal to 4, it's all the same. And now, so this is the third case. In the fourth case, and going forward, when n is greater than or equal to 4, the graph is looking just like this. OK, then this, is, this point is now equal to 0, and this point is now equal to 5. And midpoint is now n plus 1 over 2. So when n is greater than or equal to 4, we should have only two roots. And this is symmetric with respect to n plus 1 over 2. So based on all of this, we can talk about some of the roots. This is represented as now that x plus n plus 1 minus x, which is only n plus 1. That is represented as 2 times n plus 1 over 2. So that is why this 2 times a1 plus a2 plus all the way up to a20. OK, this is going to be then the same as 2 times parenthesis, now 3, plus 4.5, uh, plus now 10, plus 4 plus 1, plus 5 plus 1, plus 6 plus 1, and so on, all the way up to 20 plus 1. So it is then going to be the same as 4 plus 1, plus 5 plus 1, plus all the way up to uh, 20 plus 1. And it's all about calculating this, right? 
So if you're calculating this, then it has to be the same as 6 uh, plus 9 plus 20. And let's actually do the shortcut. For this part, we have 17 of the 1. So plus 17. And then that plus 24 times 16 over 2. So this whole thing is now calculated to be 244. So 244 is the answer for this question. So pretty interesting question from Korean Math Olympiad. How amazing.